Yo, what's up everybody? How's it going? Today we're playing Legends of Dota and specifically we're playing a Primal Beast Trample build. There were a lot of new abilities added into Legends of Dota with 7.31 and I've been wanting to make some videos of that for a little while so I thought let's get started. Trample of course is a very fun ability. It lets you do stomp, 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 stomp based on your attack damage so the build we are using tries to combine that with a good way of actually getting those hits in which is Skewer. <laughs> if you use trample and then skewer somebody, the enemy is right on top of you and you're moving very quickly, which means you're getting a lot of trample hits in. At that point, you just need to deal a lot of damage, and that's fine, because we can use Earthshaker's Enchant Totem to enhance our damage by 400% for one attack. But trample is not an attack, meaning we can just have it for the entirety of trample. And that's the plan. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And let's get into the match. So, we have a plan. We're gonna go ahead and activate Enchant Totem, which gives us a lot of bonus damage. Particularly because we have Grow, which is gonna give us even more damage because we're gonna have a tree. And then we're going to activate Trample, which deals damage based on our damage. So now we deal a lot of damage with Trample. And then we're gonna skewer people and push them around, which will then trample a lot, which will deal a lot of damage, which will hopefully kill them. And then I have Stormhammer because I needed a magic missile. And it's a good magic missile. <laughs> it's actually a pretty excellent magic missile because it gets upgraded by Aghanim's Scepter and Aghanim's Shard. And, uh, and so that's, that's why we have Stormhammer. Stormhammer doesn't really have any synergy with anything, but then it gets us into the fight. And that's something that we need. So we're gonna go ahead and use Stormhammer to get us into the fight, right? And that's that's it. That's the plan. But yeah, that's it, I guess. I just realized that we don't have bonus gold. We're supposed to have like 2,000 bonus gold. Uh, yeah, the recent Dota patch, in case you didn't notice, broke a lot of shit. It just, it just broke a lot of stuff in uh, the arcade. Of course it did. Wait, you have a hand of mine. You have the bonus gold. Okay, well, th I guess that's fine. <laughs> Why would that? Okay, sure, alright. Yeah, because I set this up so that everybody gets a bunch of bonus gold. I thought that way. You know, we could already start with a Hand of Midas and be able to uh, speed up the game a little bit. But I suppose um, some people get it. <laughs> you know, that's, that's fine. That will be okay. Don't worry about it. Alright, we'll go ahead and use this. And pick up a tree. And that will do a lot of damage. You know what? It actually looks kind of natural to have this much attack range on the Primal Beast, doesn't it? Doesn't really seem that out of place. Okay. So we'll get a point into Trample. We just gotta get a point into everything. Max out Enchant Totem first, though. After we have a point into everything. Okay, so I need to figure out what you are. You're just a right clicker. Oh, pretty scary one. That's a pretty high powered build, isn't it? I got boots of speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a bit worried about this Ember Spirit, but that's okay. We'll hopefully be able to do our damage anyway. The nice thing is that it's a squishy build. So as long as the Ember Spirit doesn't do. Uh, doesn't doesn't build super tanky. We should hopefully be able to perform well against it. We'll see. All right, we're gonna have to kind of give it a bit of a bit of a go. All right, what are the builds? What do we have? Speed, stuns, stuns, armor. No stuns. <laughs> we have a lot of stuns. I'm not to say. That's good. Honestly, you can just. Pick five magic missiles and an ultimate, and you'll have a pretty decent build. <laughs> that is not unreasonable. So, uh, we are doing good in that regard, at the very least. I'm gonna go ahead and get a point into Stormhammer early on as well. Just so I have that stun, and I can potentially use it to set something up. You never know. Right, particularly against this Ember Spirit. I really don't I really just need one opportunity. Oh, that was so close. 
Okay, it is still working. We're doing a lot of damage. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it, it does work. So that's the good news. But sadly, we were not able to actually um, get the full, full combo going there. How much mana do I need? I need like 235 mana. So I am nowhere near. Should buy a mango maybe. I don't know. The one point into everything build? Yeah. I mean, we need a point into everything, right? I think that's just pretty fair. A nice thing here is we're Primal Beast. Primal Beast has 4.3 strength gain. Which 4.3 strength gain is a ton. And uh, will will really make us quite tanky once we get grow because this gives us a twenty bonus armor. Eventually. Okay. So here's grow. We have enough mana for just a skewer and a stun right now, which may not seem like that amazing, but I think just a casual skewer stun stun might already be enough to get a kill. All right, hello. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it, I get it. No. I kind of want to risk it, but I need to make sure that if I do go for this, I can actually pull it off. Because otherwise I'm just wasting some abilities there. And I'm a bit worried about mana. Okay, we have 300 mana now. Okay, there it is. <laughs> there it is! Will you look at that? <laughs> Very nice. Gotta go ahead and give myself some healing. So we took down the Ember Spirit. Of a quick little combo. Yeah, it, it does work very nicely, doesn't it? It's just when we connect with the skewer and we have the trample active, it will do a lot of damage. And it will do even more damage once we get ourselves some more stuff. Pick up a tree, for example. And uh, get the enchant totem leveled up. Well, this ember is... Scary. I'm gonna come in. Like, the ammo's probably just gonna, like, slide a fist me here. But, that's okay. I don't think there's any mana burn on the ember, is there? Yeah, no. The, uh, Ginata is definitely annoying, but... We have enough mana now. Like, we've recovered our mana pool. So I'm pretty happy about that. Hello. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> That's all we need, friends. That's all we need. Just trample them down. So I want to get Aghanims, because that way we can use Stormhammer to get into the fight. And uh, that's like the big reason why I went for Stormhammer. I was considering between Stormhammer and Lifebreak, where Lifebreak lets me use the combo a bit earlier, but it also, um, you know, deals damage to me, which is kind of unfortunate and I don't like that. So I decided to go with Stormhammer. Also, we need mana. What can we do for mana? I could just pick up like a casual Falcon Blade for now. Which is probably not a bad idea. And then we just go for uh, Aghanims. That will give us mana. So, good news is that we managed to kill the Ember Spirit twice, despite the Ember Spirit having a hand of Midas and us not having one. <laughs> and we're keeping up. We're hanging in there. We also do get Enchant Totem Jump with uh, the hello, hello. Aghanims. Yes, that's true. Don't worry, that is very much intentional. 
<laughs> hey, it's up to. Thanks for the 10 months. Oh, man. This is this is just normal primal beast from Dota 2. <laughs> So let me get more Grow. Yeah, Grow is going to scale up our damage by a lot. I mean, look at this. If I activate Enchant Totem right now, I deal like... What's that? 900 something damage. We still have a long way to go here. In terms of upgrading. Also having this tree will be very nice. Um, we need Aghanim's Shard. We need so much stuff. We need Aghanim's Shard. We need Aghanim's Scepter. We need uh, more mana. Even than what we currently have. I don't know what to get for that. Maybe like a Bloodthorn? Alright, pick up this. And then we'll... Oh, TP scrolls are 100 gold. Um, do we want to go for the Ember? I mean, I do want to. <laughs> you can't just run in on me, friend. That's not gonna work. Oh, I want that. Yes, please. I, I desperately, desperately want that, actually. Because that's gonna be fixing all of my mana problems right now. Primal Beast doesn't have a lot of mana. But that also means that any sort of mana region is really effective on him, right? And even right now, none of our abilities really have a high mana cost. We just don't have any mana. But uh, with this, oh yeah, we get five mana region in the river. Look at that. It's just healing up like nothing. Your top tower is under attack. But yes, you have to be careful around me. Now, my combo is really powerful, by the way. I, I, I do know that. Like, it's really strong. Um, but it has an obvious, very easy to use counter, right? I cannot do anything to BKB. I just, I can't do anything to BKB. Lincolns will also do a very good job at shutting me down. And finally, just like, don't run into me. I know that's not necessarily like the most um, easy to apply counter strategy, but like, you know, just stay away from me. This is a pretty good strat, to be honest. It, it'll do a good job. Primal Beast with his 5 attack speed. Alright. No, no, no. I'm just gonna run in. <laughs> Don't even need skewer. <laughs> Don't even need it. So, we level up... Do I level up the tree or Skua? Because, like, Skua ends up having more range. Which is, by the way, also why I will want to buy an Octarine Core. Just to increase the range. And also cooldowns, right? We are pretty cooldown dependent. Your top tower is under attack. Good. We'll take down some of these. Maybe I can push this tower. We're actually very good at pushing towers. Fun fact. The nice thing about this build is that we just do a lot of damage. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh! Hello. No! No! My... Oh, no. I'm getting countered. My one weakness doing literally anything to counter me. <laughs> oh, no. My one weakness. Cooldowns. Alright, it's fine. I'm coming in. I do still just hit really hard, so... There you go. Thanks, team. And we are ready again, actually. Oh, cooldowns are not that long. I don't have enough mana. I need 170. <laughs> no! <laughs> Leave me alone! Okay, here's a stun. I gotta kill a creep to get rid of this. 
We are dropping very, very low here. And there's an ember. Okay. Has this ember learned his lesson? I don't think so. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. Let's go. They just kind of keep running at me, which is great. I love that. Keep doing that. I'm going to sit in this mid lane and just enjoy the fact that everybody's running at me relentlessly. Okay, we have Aghanims now, uh, which is really nice because that gives us a ton of mobility that we didn't have before. Right? <laughs> oh my god, I feel a little bad for this Ember Spirit. But at the same time, that Ember Spirit started with, an, uh, with a hand of Midas and I didn't. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say that the fact that I'm doing well, I'm okay with that. Okay, uh, yeah, they got me. Okay, I stuck around a bit too long. I stuck around a little bit too long. Question, what would you build for sustain between life steal and spell bomb? Uh, you always want to get spell life steal. Because this is not actually attacking, right? It's just... This is a spell. It deals magic damage. So... We would not benefit from life steal at all. But, uh... To be honest, I think I'm just gonna not go for either right now. We probably want to get like a heart or something like that first. What was the item I had in mind that I'm forgetting about? Ah, yes. We want to get Aghanim's Shard. Because that'll um, make our tree grow. Tree grab permanent, which is nice. And then we gotta get Octarine Core and Hard. And it's just a whole bunch of stuff that we wanna get first. <laughs> I love my huge primal beast. Look at how big he is. <laughs> He's just a very big boy. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh no, I didn't get Houston. Oh! It deals stomping damage while yeeting yourself? <laughs> I didn't know that. That's amazing. That changes everything. That does absolutely change everything. I had no idea it worked that way. Wait, I can do this? Okay. Just come in here. <laughs> now the problem is that I need to have Enchant Totem active. Like when? If I cast this, when do I get it? I get it when I land. Okay. Um... That does make it a little less exciting. Because I can't just like activate this and then jump. Because I'm not gonna have Enchant Totem. <clears throat> so should we get a Hard Next or Octarine Core? I feel like they're both good. Oh, how rude. And one more jump. <laughs> Max out our trample. Yes! I'm just gonna skewer. I don't have my stomping ready right now. But, you know, maybe that's okay. Maybe I don't even need it. Maybe I do want it, though. Oh. Resurrect? <laughs> I like that I can switch game plan to just, like, punching them in the face. And that's fine. That'll work. That'll do. Stomp. 
Stomp, stomp, stomp. It's a, it's a good build. <laughs> it's doing pretty well. I gotta say. It's uh, performing excellently. It's funny, I've played with this build before and it did not do this well. But the one thing I changed out is having the storm hammer. Turns out just having a magic missile is very good. Right? <clears throat> Why are you so big? Because I have grow. Also, I am the biggest boy. Is that not good enough? I think that should be plenty of explanation. If I want to be big, I can be big. And I do want to be big. In, in fact, I wish I was bigger. No, I don't actually have my stomping ready. I just used it. No, I don't want this. I like my Titan Sliver. Gives me base damage, which is what I care about. <clears throat> Quickening Charm. Nah. Nah, I think the Titan Sliver is very good for us, so I'm gonna stick with that. We need uh, a little bit more for the heart. And then I'll get Octarine, which will hopefully give us uh, the mana we need. It might be... By the way, we might be big because... The uh, kills grow modifiers on. I'm not entirely sure what options are enabled for this mode. Because, wait, can I see this here? Were you game setting? No, not right now. So the uh, game settings, the tooltips are all broken. Yeah, I think actually that's what's going on. Because this Nagas Iron is also really big. So I think I accidentally have the thing enabled where you grow bigger when you kill something. Which I don't know why that setting is enabled by default. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure it's enabled by default because I know for a fact I didn't turn it on. But I, I wasn't able to spot it um, during the selection. But you know what? I'm pretty happy it's there. I don't mind. It's very appropriate, I think. I like being this big. It makes me happy. I'm honestly in favor of making this uh, chunk meter just part of normal Dota. I think that should just be a default setting for normal Dota as well. That would be very good. Okay. <laughs> I am maybe a little too big. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. I am not too big. Also, look at how much damage I deal right now. Oh my god, it's, ins it's insane, isn't it? So all we need now is we gotta finish up this heart, and then we, uh, I mean, Kaya and Sange would be good too. I don't know what to go for. But I do think Octarine Core is better, just because cast range. Cast range is really important for us. And cooldowns, obviously, as well. Okay, we have a heart now. I just need to find an enemy team. I don't know where they're at. But it would be nice if we could do something about them. Roshan, that's a good one. I like it. Because I do have plenty of inventory space for Roshan. Alright, coming in here. Very good. Should I use my stomping? Ah, no, I think I'm gonna just try to fight this way. Oh, okay, there's a fight. Oh, I'm silenced. No! <laughs> okay, we still got one of We still got one of them anyway. No, not the stun! I gotta go. Ah, another shackle. K. 
Okay. <laughs> I got one of them at least. Um, oh, I don't know. Do I need BKB? I don't know if BKB is gonna do it. I think I need the Kaya and the Sange to deal with the with the disables. Why don't you just not kill Rashad and put him in your pocket instead? <laughs> I should just I should just take him. All right. Oh, I do not have talents, no. I have zero talents. Wait, you guys also have talents? I am getting so scammed here. <laughs> you guys have talents? <laughs> and hand of minus? This is this is such bullshit. I got to say this is this is such bullshit. So what do we do? We need to be able to stay in the fights and actually like fight. And uh, I need to have my team protecting me for that. On the other hand, you are big. That's true. I am big and I see that as an absolute win. So. It's actually kind of difficult to do the jump because I accidentally click on myself a lot because I'm so big. <laughs> I need giant's ring so I can actually walk across things. Alright, I've got some damage in on this guy. I don't like being silenced. Alright, here's a stop. Oh, I need to pick up a tree really quick. Okay. Silence again, but the good news is... The bad news is that I'm trapped in here. Nice. Oh, seriously? Abaddon ultimate on everybody. We gotta start limiting Abaddon ultimate to like one per team at most. I mean, like, how the hell do you fight into that? Okay, I don't have my, I don't have my trample ready. So if I'll trample. There you go. <laughs> it does still kill. It does still do the job. That's the good news. Do I care about Flicker? I think I do. Right? Flicker is actually good for us. I do wish they had just added Primal Beast in his original size. Not in this, like, shrunken form that we got. Like, looking at him now, you know, I, I think it would have been fine. That would have been okay. Just give him, like, a giant's ring by default. Um, yeah, I think for now I'm gonna get Kaya and uh, Sange. And then I'll get Dr. Ringcore. I'm not going... Ooh. Ooh, that is good for me, right? Is that good for me? Do I prefer Flicker? I think I do prefer this. This aesthetics cap. Okay, coming in here. Get rid of this. I don't really need armor. I have a lot of armor. Just naturally, right? I've got plus 24 armor right now. Because my grow gives me plus 20, so we're doing fine there. Okay, we got a kill. Can I get this tower? Nice, and now I need to go. That stunned me mid jump. Ooh, okay. The good news is, again, we have some status resistance now, we've got even more healing. It is hard to just disable us for an entire fight now. 
and we can then get our octarine core. And then we'll have to figure out what we get afterwards. All right, guys, you gotta support me here. I can actually kill their entire team. Ooh, that's bad. I easily do enough damage. As you can see. <laughs> There's really nobody on their team that I can't kill. <laughs> that is so many magic missiles. <laughs> but I do need time. And I need to be protected. Alright, there's the uh, Abaddon ultimate. Okay. Oh, wait! It's slow! Why is it slow? Oh, man. Alright, we'll just do it. Okay, okay, okay. We'll just do it like this. This guy is annoying. Oh, hello. Wait. Shouldn't you be dead? <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> I feel like that guy should have died a moment ago, but... Somehow hanging in there. I'm gonna push now. Give me a tower. There you go. The enemy's middle tower has fallen. Clean. Clean. Alright. Got cooldowns right now, so I'm not super keen on going in. I think it'd be better if we waited for a moment. Stygian. Hmm. I'm guessing I'll, I'll actually get the Stygian. get into the pit. There you go. Do I take it? I suppose, yeah. Double damage? <laughs> oh my god. I think at this point I can one-shot people just by attacking them. Ooh. What just happened there? Goodbye. <laughs> I gotta get this top tower really quick. Not a problem. <laughs> hey, friend. Okay, there's the BKB. I need distance from the BKB. Again, my hero can't do anything to BKB. I mean, I can get a hit in, but I attack very slowly. Mirror shield. We're not getting my beautiful, beautiful giant swing. Come on. What is it? Book of the Dead. Oh. Alright, three out of five found. We still have we still have an opportunity here, okay? It is still possible. The dream is alive. Book gives 30 strength. Yeah, but it's on a giant's ring. I wanna be bigger. Do you not think that I'm too small? I feel like I need to be bigger. That's my main issue with my current build. If I was just larger then none of these things will be an issue. <laughs> I 
<laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can find it. No, I didn't get it. Oh, I'm sad now. No, I can't skill any of this, by the way. Ember Spirit has Giant's Ring. Ember Spirit, I will trade you. Houston, Houston, trade deal. I will give you... I will give you a Stygian Desolator for a Giant's Ring. This is an awful deal for me, and you should definitely take it. <laughs> Stygian is a way better item, but I do want the Giant's Ring. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just assume you accept my trade deal. And I'm gonna put my Stuggy in here. Please give me your giant's ring at your at your early at the earliest convenient point. Okay. Can you use enemy items? You can use enemy neutral items. Not normal items, but neutral items does work, yeah. Okay. I mean, we could probably end right now, but we won't, because I want that Giant's Ring. I hope it makes me bigger. If it doesn't make me bigger, I'll be sad. But I do think it's, it's just a 60% increase. Alright. I am coming on a peaceful mission to pick up my item. Please, leave me be. All I want to do is fulfill my, fulfill the trade deal. Where's my, where's my, how rude. Just disgusting behavior, I have to say. Shame. Shame, shame, shame. Okay, I have my giant's ring. <laughs> I'm so big. <laughs> oop, oop, I died. Oh no, they did kill me though. Uh, what do I buy now? BKB to make me even bigger, that's smart. Yeah, no, I think that definitely makes a lot of sense. So that Morphling is a wiener. How dare you. Morph has Divine. Yeah, the Morph also has Borrowed Time, which is super annoying. I mean, the Morph is not really, like, doing any sort of interesting or theme-based build at all. I don't really get what's going on with the Morph. I mean, it's so big that the enemy can't attack your team because they can't click on them. That's exactly the plan. I'm gonna make my entire team magic immune by just being magic immune on top of them. <laughs> you wanna use a magic missile on my team? Well, too bad! <laughs> you can only click on me and I'm immune! Oh... <sighs> uh. like slog shard it's like slog shard but shit which i think is generally speaking what we go for when we play these modes right it's like Your this other thing but worse oh my god i am too big i cannot jump anymore yeah did you see where i clicked i clicked so far away i am clicking over here and it's self-casting <laughs> Alright, there you go. That's better. I need to click out of range. <laughs> I need to pick up a tree really quick. Okay, there's a... Ah, oh, yeah. I mean, the Morphling just gets us. I think the Morphling finally did it. Because I don't see what I can do. At least I was big. At least I got to enjoy that. Right? At least I got to be a really, really big, chumpy boy. Alright. 
time to one versus five them. Except they have two heroes with Abaddon ultimate, so I can't really do anything. Uh, but I will try. Oh, I forgot to use my stomping. Oops. No, I can't, I can't, I can't jump anymore. I'm too big. I just can't use the jump. If I use the jump, it doesn't do it because I'm too big. And it self-casts it. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, just go ahead and put us out of our misery, friends. I think that was still a lot of fun. We may not have won, but we were very big. And I think that alone is a, is a win. And that is what I care about. That is all I care about, really. Also, the build worked pretty well, I think. I mean, like, yeah, the build doesn't work against Abaddon Ultimate, but, like, what does, right? Like, it's one of those things. There's really nothing that works against Abaddon Ultimate. There you go. Alright, very good, very good. Alright then, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating on the video. We'll definitely, definitely appreciate that. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.